53 miles an hour in under eight seconds is the claim top speed of this 60 volt scooter. <laughs> oh gosh. But for a list price of $2,449, is it worth the money? Will it live up to the claims? Let's find out. It's called the Arvola M11. And dude! Look at those juicy colors. I gotta say, man, I'm a fan. And dude, check it out up front. We have a steering damper. A lot of time on these scooters, the steering gets like really sketchy at higher speeds. So this adjustable damping should make a huge difference. Oh yeah, baby. That's the juice. So I wonder what kind of mechanism we get to separate us between having a good time and face planning at 53 miles an hour. Looks like, does this thing work? Check the manual. No, no manual. Then QR code. And what kind of charger? Looks like we get a two amp charger. 26 amp hours on this scooter divided by two. That'd be about 12 hours of charge from empty to full. That is if you charge it with one charger. But the other side actually has another charge port. So you could run two chargers and charge it twice as fast. And check out the street tread on these 11 inch tires. The 11 inch wheels ride a little bit smoother than 10 inch wheels in my experience. And they are tubeless tires. Motor is stamped as 1600 watts, and you get a second one of those motors up front, obviously. Running nut hydraulic disc brakes, mono shock with a coil in front, same exact thing around back, and you can adjust your rebound, and it appears to have some sort of lights or signals. There also appears to be some sort of LED lighting under here. I think I need to loosen this up. Not sure if that's what you're supposed to do, but uh, it works. Probably tighten that back down. It's not like our life depends on it. Here's what the deck looks like. It is rubber. Oh, whoa. this is, um, um, maybe need some glue. Uh, <laughs> we'll work with it. Handlebars. Go up here. You got these unique looking ergonomic grips, nut hydraulic levers. Get a thumb throttle on the right to power us up to 53. Check out the uh, display. Turn that on in just a few. And there is an NFC chip reader here. So it'll be used to turn the scooter on. Signals, light, horn, and some sort of red light thing up here. Headlight on front, tail light on the rear. If you wanna carry some stuff, they give you this bag. So let me show you what a five foot 17 dude looks like on here. Got some bouncy mono shocks. Feels sturdy. Handlebars are a good height. And here is a size 14 shoe on the deck. Two size 14 shoes. Feels good, dude. Pretty spacious. Let's turn this thing on. Turn on, you. Oh yeah, there we go, nice. Whoa, look at the lights. How about that display? Nice, this color shows a scooter. Pretty cool, so it shows us our uh, battery percentage up here. Oh dang, look down here, it shows us current. Probably, yeah, both front and rear motor current and air and temperature for both motors. This is a freaking awesome display. All right, let's press the M here, see what happens. Oh, so it shows us trip, total info, speed info. I'll have to get that out of kilometers ASAP. So there is economy. One, two, three, four, five. All right, dude, I'm pumped. Turn signals on the left here. Oh, it shows us a light up here too. And we can have both on at the same time, all right. Horn sounds like pretty darn loud. Bro, we got a turn signal. That's pretty dope, really. Got a signal up here, signal on the back too. I wonder if that's a brake light. It is. So it looks like the colors are just kind of cycling. Got a little bit of red, fading to green, fading to, well, green, blue. That's right, I know my colors. Scooter is not really light, necessarily. Uh, Please don't break. Let's check out the power. That's eco. Let's bump it up a little to Pelsis 5. Oh yeah, baby. That's the juice. 83 kilometers an hour. Uh, pretty sure these lights are going in accordance with the power. Hey. Check this out. 83 kilometers an hour. There is an Arvola app. After you sign up, you should be able to connect up with Bluetooth. Sweet, there it goes, let's connect it up. Oh, nice. Uh, I gotta say, I'm kind of impressed by the user interface here. Not bad. Does it work? Advanced, I just wanna change it to miles per hour. 
Oh, LED settings, dang. So you can, uh, probably the most useful thing about this app, tap here in the middle and you can switch it over to miles per hour, which also switches it to MPH up here. And dude, in the middle shows miles per hour, but this outside thing is the power output of the motor, which is awesome. Looks like it peaks out at 10 kilowatts. See if we can get it there. All right, dudes, let's get the Arvala M11 out for a ride. They say zero to 53 in eight seconds. We'll put that to the test in a few. Also, we'll fire up the Strava so we can track our official distance and range. Hopefully that is on there good. I'm super pumped to try out the steering damper. The very first thing we're gonna do is run it up to 20% grade. We have it on PAS5 uh, dual motor. Let's just give it a go and see. Oh, okay, 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 okay. All right, I'm just kind of barely touching on the throttle here. Oh my goodness. All right, yeah, this thing's got the juice. So let's put that down to eco mode here for starters. Give it a little bit of a test here on dual motor, uh, full throttle. So it makes it much more, you know, manageable and we're gonna have to feel out the steering damper for sure. So on economy mode, it'll give us about, you know, 11 miles an hour. So you can get some range out of this thing, make it more newbie friendly. Let's switch that over to GPS on my phone. So it'll track our speed based on GPS. Looks like the speed I was gonna be accurate. That might change as we go faster. Let's flip it on to one now. Uh, so one actually makes it go slower than econ mode. Interesting. One holds us at eight. Let's try two. Okay, so it kind of ramps on the power. This dude's got the, the skateboard pulling the stroller. Electric is the future. Standing sideways holding this thing with one hand, I feel like the damper is definitely making a difference. Let's bump it on three now, see how this feels. So kind of, yeah, ramps on the power. Feels pretty stable. Man, this thing's already whipping on three. So it's uh, feeling confidence inspiring already considering I'm already hitting 28 on mode number three. Oh, brakes are feeling nice. Oh, dude, there's like a regen brake on there, I think. It's like a little delay, but I think there was a regen brake. So it does give you like a power read out there on the display. Like it shows like red. I don't know if you can see that. Red when you're like under full throttle or like yellow when it's giving it like medium power. Yeah, dude, there's a there's definitely a regen brake on this, but it lags like a second from the time you touch the, the brake lever and it's pretty strong. Okay, I bumped it on four now. Yeah, dude, this thing's got the juice. I'm gonna have to get used to that delay on the uh, regen brake. <laughs> Is there a delay on the throttle? No, I don't think so. So usually when I'm going to merge on this road, I have to put everything at max settings. We're just gonna run it on four for now. <laughs> Holy smokes. And uh, merge into traffic here on pedal assist four, full throttle, a little bit downhill. Oh, hopefully there's no potholes. Uh, so we are going 36, 37. Yeah, hold 37. Keep it up with traffic. Woohoo! Oh my God, dude. Bro, I just remembered that grip was like not fully like glued down. Holy crap, man. This might not be the safest thing I've ever done. I feel like four is all I need, but we'll try five here pretty soon. Powerful brakes, man. I'm like barely even touching these things. Scooter gang right ahead. That's a bird scooter. We don't know nothing about this thing. Oh. <laughs> so I bumped it on power five. Let's see what it can do for acceleration. Uh, security's right up there. Ready? Oh man. Okay, yeah. <laughs> we're just peeling out, dude. This thing whips. I think we're gonna have to go somewhere else today. Let's give it another try real quick. Peeling out. 20? I don't know, dude. The GPS is like, <laughs> it's like so fast you can't really measure it. One thing I don't absolutely love about it is the uh, thumb throttle. I feel like I have to kind of reach for it. I wish, you know, it's a little bit easier to access. So let's try the top speed on this thing. They say zero to 53 in eight seconds. Let's try it. I weigh 200 pounds, ready to go. Losing traction though. 30. 40. Oh God, no. 45, 49, 50, 50.4, 51.2. Woo! Oh gosh, 52. I think I saw about 52 on there. That's as fast as I want to go, man. <laughs> Holy crap, dude. Why do people want to go this fast on a scooter? I will never understand. 
Somebody sent me a faster one. I was reading the onboard. I probably shouldn't have been looking at my speedometer, but I was. I'm actually gonna rotate the steering damping. Oh shoot, man, I had it on the minimum. I probably should have had it like dialed up there for higher speed and stability. Dude, that makes a huge difference. Oh shoot, that's way too much. I can't even like turn the wheel. Good thing I wasn't doing that when I was going so fast. Look at that car, bro. You want to race? Let's go race this dude. Whoa. Wonder if it could be the Ferrari. I think we could legit take this dude off the line. Hit it, bro! Huh? Yeah. Bro has himself a scooter. So after about 30 minutes on this thing, two things I really like about it and two things I dislike about it. One, I absolutely love the power. Two, I absolutely love the steering damper. Cons, um, I don't love the thumb throttle. I feel like I need to like really reach my thumb to kind of get to it. Now I could move the whole thing over a little bit more, but I just, I wish it was a little more accessible. And the other thing I don't love about it is I wish the handlebars were just a little bit higher. I am particularly tall, six foot five. So I feel like most people will probably be pretty darn happy with the height of these handlebars. I'm gonna let this dude try it. Whoa. Dude, this dog about took her out. So one thing I am noticing about it that's a little bit annoying is when I stop sometimes, it just, it turns both the motors off and I have to like hold the M button here a couple times to turn them both back on. I actually wanna try and crank that all the way to the max. Yeah, bro, on max, you can like not even turn the steering. Oh, <laughs> that's way too much. All right, dudes, let's try to climb to the top of this cliff. It's 85 feet tall. Bro, this guy's trying to knock us off. I'll uh, put it on uh, pedal assist five. Uh, oh my goodness, we do not need pedal assist five. Where's the pedals at on this thing? Just makes the throttle too twitchy. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Whoa! I'm like, oh. bottom of the California incline, ready to go. Peeling out. So we're showing about 80% on the voltage. All right, we're gonna have to light off because we're already hitting like 30. <laughs> yeah, man, this thing got torque. Why are scooters so much faster than bikes? And just a moment ago, we were just down there. So the regen brake kicks in at about 10 miles an hour. All you gotta do is just kind of pull in either lever a little bit and it's, it's a pretty strong regen brake. At about 10 miles an hour under, it doesn't work anymore though. Turn on full blast. Go. Oh yeah, buddy. Hmm, this thing actually just put me in eco mode. I did not change it. It just did it on its own. I wonder if it's the motor temperature. Oh, wait, what the heck? So I have it on five. Battery is flashing. What's going on here, bro? Battery is flashing 79%. It's flashing yellow. Air three. I don't know what air three is, but it's flashing air three on both motors. Like it put it in econ automatically. If I put on like the five or something and press the throttle, it goes straight back to econ. Rear temperature is 37. Front temperature is 34. Okay, well I just turn it off and back on and it works again. Let's make sure it works. Oh yeah, it works. <laughs> I don't know if we really need an official brake test on this thing. The brakes work excellent. Been out here for about 12 miles, sitting at 77%. That said 60.8 volts. So final thoughts on this scooter, dude. The 60 volt battery system cannot be argued. This thing absolutely rips and the steering damper makes it feel very stable at high speeds and you can adjust that. This is the 26 amp hour battery pack version. You can get the bigger battery pack if you want. We'll see what kind of range we get out of this one. I, f I honestly feel like this one would be sufficient for most rides. Uh, overall, it's a very smooth feeling scooter. I love the look of the purple personally. Matches right up with Juice Joy Rides colors. List price on this scooter is $2,500. If you check the link below this video in the description box, you can see current pricing. And if you did buy through that link down there below, it would help support my reviews here on Juice Joy Rides. But let's head on home, see what the final range is on this scooter. Oh, look at this scooter here we're about to pass. Ride dudes, 18.5 miles, hour and 39 minutes of ride time. We're sitting at about 
percent, which is it's showing uh, 58.5 volts. Overall, I think it's a pretty dope scooter. If you want to grab one, buy through the link below in the description box. However, if this is not the kind of thing you're looking for, watch this video next. Catch you over there. What do we got left in this thing? A little bit of pep.